Mary Muyela does what she does best to earn a living. Chopping veggies into slices is an important step for her clients, many of whom are always in a rush. But she may be forced to sell the produce as a whole if new government guidelines are anything to go by. In the guidelines, such traders and hawkers will also have to restructure their workplaces to ensure social distancing rules are maintained. <laughs> traders in the Juakali sector will have to designate workstations and tools for individual artisans and decontaminate in case of shared tools. Business owners running barbershops, salons and other beauty spots have also not been spared. They will have to maintain appropriate distances while keeping at least one workstation open between clients. This in addition to limiting the number of clients at any given time. Owners of restaurants and eateries are required to stagger their shifts and rotate staff members. They have also been urged to arrange staff transport in a bid to reduce public transport use. All businesses are encouraged to adopt cashless transactions, ensure ventilation by leaving windows open if possible, clean work surfaces three to four times daily while keeping track of employees. Many traders we spoke to say they are not opposed to the new guidelines, but they fear that such measures might lead to additional costs which will have to be passed on to the consumers. <laughs> The guidelines will be subject to change depending on what direction the COVID-19 pandemic takes. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.